Hey everybody, CK here. I'm wondering if we should flip that thing and we say, um, I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Sticky, sticky. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, hey. I'm coming to you guys with another video and I always say that like 50,000 times, but I'm super duper excited per the huge usual okay and i am i just i love filming for you guys and i'm so excited and i'm bringing you guys or i'm bringing another tooper to you guys which is a two for one special i break this video up in two parts so the first thing i'm gonna do is hold on girl let me get my sponges girl <laughs> i know you guys be gawking at my sponges in the videos so here they are and it is a mixture of so many. I have some Ofra. I have these sponges right here from Sonia Kashuk, which is, and there's one right there too, which is like the topic of the day on today. Okay. And then I have other ones that I just bought because they're pretty. And then I have ones like this beauty blender right here that I'm totally going to use, right? The beauty blender. And then I have LA Girl and, um, like this little lime green one right here or neon green i'll probably never ever use that because i don't even i don't like the texture of it it's just for display purposes okay so i have somewhat of a beauty sponge fetish and i feel like i'm tardy to the party because i ended up taking a look i don't even remember how i found out about these sponges but i happened to see someone using it and i was like you ain't said nothing but a word, girl. It's on a crack of lacking. And I saw a few videos on YouTube and I saw that like this goes as back as like 10 months. Like why y'all didn't tell me? Okay, why? Now, Sonia Kashuk is found only at Target from my understanding. And the sponges, they retail for $7. And this one, I forget how much this one retails for because I got two of these and this one in a packet or in a um, set and I can't remember the price of it. I'm gonna have to look that up. Matter of fact, I will put it in the link in the description box, okay? That way you guys could click on it and purchase your own. But you guys know I absolutely, like my favorite sponges of all time are Beauty Blender. Like, I mean, they're the ones that started it all, right? Right? And so they're $20, girl. But this is my favorite one, Sapphire favorite. I don't even know if it's still available, but I have some purple. I have some red. I have some nude. I have, matter of fact, let me just show you how the sponge thing is real. Okay. Because I know you guys are like, if that's for display, what the heck does she use every day? Plack out. There's my egg carton girl. I did a video on a tour of my room and I showed you guys, it was a collaboration with the container store. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do one side with my love thing right here, the Sapphire Beauty Sponge or Beauty Blender from Beauty Blender. And then we're gonna use Sonia Kashuk on the other half, probably this half. Now, I just noticed this. Um, I did use this sponge on my anniversary cause that's when I purchased it. And um, another story about that too, um, I really couldn't wait, so I was going to order online and pick it up from the store, but the store that said they had them, they sold out real fast, so I ended up having to ship it to the house. So you guys can do it, order it for pickup, but there may be a chance that they will sell it because they're selling off the shelves. Um, so I picked up some and I had ordered some. What I want to tell you guys is I used this once already on our, um, our uh, anniversary weekend and I washed it and look, I just noticed this before I was about to film and I was like, say it ain't so it's cracked but this thing is ginormous so this is what it looks like when you first get it wait there it is and it's marble i don't really like the fact that it has that white in there because i feel like it's going to be a little hard to keep it clean but i couldn't pass on it so this is what it looks like when you first purchase it and then this is what it looks like when it's wet massive right it looks like a big cow like literally and then here is this one right here before it is wet and after there it is. So I'm gonna be doing a video on the beauty sponges and I'm also gonna be doing a video on Makeup Revolution's concealers, okay? Because I told you guys, where are they? I told you guys that for a long time, I have been using the Makeup Revolution 12 and 13 and I just got the 12 and a half. So we're gonna see if it is really, really, everything is cracked up to be and if it is like the two in one. And they also have a corrector that I'm gonna try. I really like to do this, but we're gonna go with it. I don't like to use the applicator. But I'm using the Makeup Revolution foundation, which I do really like. Sometimes I feel like in pictures it may come off a little light, but other times it's all right. 
bars. And y'all know I am generous with foundation, so don't act surprised. So we are gonna go in with the blue beauty sponge, which is, or the beauty blender. And we are gonna blend her out and blend her out. Hey, hey. Do you see why I love this foundation? In this drugstore, I think it's $12.99. I'm just gonna have to do the whole nose because I, I, it's, it's kind of hard for me to do half and half on the nose, okay? But there she is with my Bew. Bew? What the heck is Bew? <laughs> there she is with my blue one. Whoa. I didn't mean to put that much, but I'm totally okay with it. So in Seeky fashion, we are going to um, add more. And one thing I will tell you about this foundation, um, like, because I didn't really do a review per se. I did a first impression. And on that first impression, I didn't know this until now. But girl, when you begin to sweat, like it, it beads up like around here. It doesn't, it's almost like it's trying not to let anything come through. It's so interesting. When I say it clings onto your skin, it gets in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. But no, it really gets in there. And it just kind of, like I told you guys in that one video. That is some bomb foundation though. Just pause for the cause. Just appreciate it for one second. <laughs> so now this is going to be the side we're using the funny looking one, the really massive cow sponge. And it took me a minute, like I didn't even know how to hold it. And so I will show you that. But I think that for the corrector, I'm, I'm not the corrector, for the concealer portion of it, I think I'm gonna use this one because the point is a little more precise and it has that flat area right there. So I'm gonna try this one because honestly, this one will probably be the one that I gravitate to the most. But before this dries, let's get on with it. Um, it's huge, like it's as big as my face, but it works. It really works. But I was like, how in the world do I hold this joker? Like, I can't like see getting in there is like, whoa. But I will tell you, if you're in a hurry and you're trying to get out the dough, I said the dough, if you're in a hurry and you're trying to get out the dough, this girl, this works. Like, cause it gets a lot of space at one time. But the same problem I have with Real Techniques, I have with this one. It's cracking and I only, you see it now, you can see it a little bit better. You see how that's cracking right there? Like I only used it one time. Although this is great, I'm glad that they came out with this one and we will see how that one performs too. But they did really good. Like it is definitely comparable to the beauty sponge. Like it gets the job done and I'm super impressed. And for $7, you can be all up and through my little area. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use you, I'm gonna use you. But it is latex free. I did throw away the um, containers that it came in. Like I just got so happy when I came home and I just tossed it in my jar. So I threw that away, but I will put some verbiage, you know, in the, um, in the description box for you. Like it's like as big as my cheek and you know, that's big. Okay. That's huge. So here is the beauty blender side. Here is the Sonya Kashuk side, darling. And then here they are just like this. And so what I'm going to do is blend it out. I am going to take this uh, beauty sponge from Sonia Kashuk. I don't even know what the names are, but oh my goodness, that is precise. That joker, I think I may like that more than the beauty blender right there. Do you see how she get in there? Yeah, yeah. Look, listen, Linda. Yes. I almost want to take that sponge and go on the other side. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. but that point is precise as they come. Look at that. If you're wondering on the eyes, I am rocking the James Charles and Morphe palette. I will put that in the description box. I am using the shade, I think it is called Rusted and you're kidding. And I'm hearing a lot about them staining, but I ain't worried about nothing. I put a base on underneath anyways. And I threw on some lipstick. The lipstick is actually, and this is the old packaging. This is Ofra Cosmetics Havana Nights. And it's a collaboration they did with Kathleen Lights as well as this one. This one is Miami Fever, fe fe huh? This one is Miami Fever and I put that in the middle and gave it like a, a little bit of an ombre. But anyway, that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, then please let me know by commenting, by liking, by sharing. Like even sharing and letting somebody know you loved it, that helps y'all. And don't forget to join the fam bam. I always forget to say that, but I wanna make sure 
that I extend the offer. It's like, you can come to my house anytime, girl. As a matter of fact, click the bell so you can get a notification. Every time I'm inviting company over, girl, you can be included, okay? And come on in. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think, girl. Bye. Seeky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.